what's poppin' mother truckers? I'm the coming attraction, and we back at it like a crack addict with another NBA 2K22 video. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it's world on the road to 50,000 subscribers. You wanna say you're in the first 50k, but as always, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to go chase your fucking dreams today, but let's get into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are possibly killing some rumors, and I will tell you exactly where I stand on those rumors. Today, we're gonna see what would happen if Shaquille O'Neal and Brittany Griner played one-on-one. -on -one. I'll tell you where I stand. I think most girls suck at basketball, and I guess we're gonna find out. Shaq's the best big man of all time. Brittany Griner's the best big woman of all time, although it wouldn't shock me at all if there was something dangling between those knees. It's okay, little man. Now, if what you guys say is true, this should be a pretty even matchup. I I mean, Brittany Griner's 6'9", 205, so size can't really be an excuse. Unfortunately, it is for me, though. Let's get away from my bedroom insecurities, though, and get to the tail of the tape. Brittany Griner is a 92 overall, 24 badges, solid ratings across the board. We're not even going to use Shaq's best version. We're going to use his 89 overall Miami Heat version. He has less badges, and he's worse across the board in pretty much every attribute. So now there's really no reason the ladies should be worried. Brittany Griner's better in this situation. I think Shaq's gonna win by a huge amount though. And once again, this could be because women have 11% smaller brains. We had to lower United States Army physical requirements for women to get in. They just aren't very athletic. Shoot the messenger if you want. Let's go ahead and get into it though. This game will be played to 11 points, win by two. Brittany Griner's gonna be starting off with the ball right here. She's going in and immediately gets her shit thrown and Shaq goes up and scores. Well, looks like the coming attraction is right again. Let me not jump to conclusions though and let's see if good old Brittany Griner's gonna be able to do anything here. Oh my goodness, the dribble moves though. Insane right now. She's posting him up. Oh my goodness, this isn't gonna end well. Holy doly. Oh my goodness. Look, I'll give credit where credit is due. Brittany Griner, applause, man. That was a bucket, absolute bucket right there, but you are getting bullied right now as Shaquille O'Neal goes in and gets another easy ass layup. Let's see if Brittany Griner's gonna be able to stay consistent with it once again. I don't have anything wrong with women. I love women. I think they're very attractive. But when it comes to this, it's just not it. Brittany Griner going in though and she misses that one. Let me remind all of you, this isn't even Shaq's best version as he goes up, misses that shot right there, goes up again for another layup, misses that one. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, dude. He just baptized her. I'm pretty sure that's sexual assault and domestic violence in like three states. Here goes Brittany Griner again, though, trying to put on the hesitation move. She can't even dribble the fucking ball and once again gets a nutsack put in her face. And I know what a lot of you guys are going to say, oh my goodness, the coming attraction, you're so sexist, you're so this, you're so that. Okay, let's go, Brittany. Actually, you know what? I'm changing my stance. I'm rooting for you, bruh. Let's go. Nice move, right? <laughs> Oh man, sometimes I love my job, sometimes I hate it because sometimes there are some really uncomfortable conversations that need to be had, but hey, they need to be had and oh my goodness, that's like the ninth, 10th block in a row. Oh yeah, put that big boy meat on her, put that big boy meat on her, easy bucket. Let's go, Brittany, nice dude. For being so big, Brittany Griner actually has some nice dribble moves, but once again gets her shot blocked. It's five to one, I will say this right now, Brittany Griner wants any chance in this, she's gonna have to start putting some points up on the board immediately and she's not going anywhere back in Shaggy, I don't know what the hell she's thinking. Oh my goodness, the shot clock is winding down in a one-on-one -on -one game. That is just absolutely embarrassing. Let me see what's gonna happen here. Probably another block shot, fadeaway jump shot. Ooh, that one almost went in and hit the rim at least. All right, Shaquille O'Neal, let's see what you got, man. Nice, dude. Oh, another easy layup. What do you know? Say what you want, but this is the easiest and best way we're gonna be able to find something like this out because there's no WNBA player in their right mind who would play an NBA player in front of a live audience, dude. That would just turn out so wrong for the whole equal pay wage gap situation they're trying to fight for. All that talk would be killed. Here goes Brittany Griner. The once again, trying to get up another shot and shot, sink that shit back to half court. Let's go, man. And look, I'm all for women succeeding. I have no problem with that, ladies and gentlemen. But let's set them up to succeed. We can't set them with the same expectations that we set guys for. Just like whenever they go into the army, we lower the expectations. Let's lower the rim down to about eight and a half, nine feet, so a lot of them can start dunking. I would love to see some ladies posterize people. That is the feminist movement right there, man. We need more women posterizations. I'm a connoisseur. I'm a pioneer. I'm trying to set women up for success in the realm of athletics, man. And let me tell you right now, going against dudes like Shaq, it isn't gonna happen, man. The score is 10 to one. Let's cut the fantasy job off now, dude. It's, this is exactly what it would be, a bunch of block shots into easy layups right there. As this one's over, Shaquille O'Neal wins 11 to one, ladies and gentlemen. This video wasn't meant to be extremely long. It was meant to be informative. Shaq shot 11 for 13 with nine blocks. Brittany Griner, one for 15. Shaquille O'Neal came out on top easily. That's all I have to say about that. If you guys did enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, 
like button, leave a comment down below on what other types of videos you guys want to see. If you hate me for this video, cool, fuck it. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel and thank you so much for stopping by and on the coming attraction.